ladies. بچه ها سلام من برگشتم با یک ویدیو نه با یک استیج دیگه چطور این؟ Okay, let's start. So as you guys probably know, we're doing a um, neon eyeshadow, which is very trendy this summer. It's uh, on this beautiful model. So we already have for face on like the base, the foundation, and some eyeshadow primer. So as I'm doing the makeup, I'm gonna explain, she's gonna explain what she used on her face, and then we'll see. So, the palettes I'm using today are the Huda Beauty palettes, the neon one. I think this is the orange one, or maybe the pink one. I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere. And another one, which is um, Venice, Venus Vivid by Lime Crime. So let's get started. OK, do you want to explain what you did? Yeah, on so your face? on my face, I'm like really obsessed with Laura Mercier. So I used um, her foundation protection primer because it has sunscreen in it. And it's summertime, it's hot outside. And then because it's hot, I like to use a tint and moisturizer instead of foundation. So I use that in, I think, the shade. Is it the new um, tinted moisturizer? The, um, because the, they've reformulated Not the it. matte one. The oh, OK, the radiant one. one. Yeah. OK, got it. Because um, I like a more dewy look. I used that, and then um, I used a Kevin Aquan blush and a Bobbi Brown bronzer. And I'm obsessed with this Tom Ford Duo Highlighting Compact and a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow gel and Kelly Baker's eyebrow palette, which oh, I'm obsessed okay. with. She's like the only person that I let touch my brows. Beautiful. And some Fenty Beauty gloss bomb. And here we are. Love it. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to um, go in her crease with this Fenty bronzer, uh, which is Bahan, what is that, Gail? Yeah. Gail. <laughs> and I'm going in her crease because even if you're doing a neon eyeshadow or something very bright, it's always good to have warmth on the crease so not everything looks very funky. So, Lori, if you only have five minutes to do your makeup, what are the things that you have to do? Ooh, five minutes, that is rough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably just, for sure, eyebrow gel. That's like a must. What do you use? Anastasia oh, okay. eyebrow gel. Yeah. Because um, I have like super thick brows, so sometimes I don't really have to fill them in, especially if I need to get my brows done, like I do right now. And... Um, Naked has this really good, um, like, shimmery bronzer powder that I like. So I'll do, like, that a little bit just to give, like, a little bit of contour and definition. And then just, like, a light tap of blush so my cheeks are flushed and some lip gloss. And then out the door. Okay. In five minutes, that would, like, five, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll take all, take up all the time. So what I'm doing right now, so by the way, I want to make this makeup look as wearable as possible. So I'm mixing this kind of like the pink one with the orange one. So we have a little bit of both. And I'm putting this on the lid, mostly on the center, up to the crease. And the brush I'm using is Sigma E25. Like super obsessed with this highlighting trend right now. Mm. Loving all the bright eyeshadows and eyeliner. I know. I love it. I wanted to do bright eyeshadow today, but then I was like, no. I'm doing bright eyeshadow for someone else. <laughs> what are some makeup trends that you were like, no, they have to go away? They were, I feel like <laughs> you were starting to do some like crazy eyebrow trends at one point. Yeah. Did you see those? Yes. Those were kind of wild. Um, 
all the like different hacks that people use to contour oh. are very interesting. Like I saw like a fork one, which was crazy. Um, just like all using all the different crazy objects. To like shoes. Yeah, that was that was interesting. What was some of yours that you like couldn't get down with? Or what was like what what was your favorite trend besides my highlighting? favorite trend? I think my favorite trend was when thick eyebrows came back, but not the like the crazy thick ones. Mm -hmm. You know, more like your brows, mm -hmm. like natural. So people are trying to grow back the eyebrows that they plucked like ten years ago. Yeah. And I feel like with eye with eyebrows, you shouldn't really um, follow trends because it's your hair. So if you like pull out too much, it's not going to grow back. So you're going to go get tattooed or, you know, do some microblading. And then if you don't like it, you're stuck with it. Just don't mess with your eyebrows. Like, let them be yeah. <laughs> as natural as possible. Okay, let's see. I try to really only get my brows done, like, maybe once every, like, two months. That's good. Okay. Very nice wash of like this orangey pink gorgeous color on the lid. And as you can see, I'm mostly um, using matte colors. I'm only uh, going to put some very shiny light color in the inner corner. And now we're going to do some smoky eyeliner. So I'm going to use some black. This palette is from Milani. It's called Guild Noir. Do you have a favorite makeup brand right now? I feel like I have favorites from all the brands. I can't really say, but one brand that I like most things from is like Laura Mercier. Nice. Yeah. Very hard to go wrong with Laura Mercier mm -hmm. and Fenty as well. Obsessed with all things yeah. Fenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. This brush that I'm using is E47 from Sigma. It's a very small, um, kind of like blending brush. But I'm just going to put some black eyeshadow along the lash line. And wing it out a little bit. So this neon eyeshadow doesn't make her eyes too round. What's like one of your favorite makeup tips for like a flawless like finish on your face? For flawless finish, I always say lots of powder and lots of setting spray. Because I have oily skin, I can't go without powder. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes when you use a lot of powder, it makes your face very oily, uh, like cakey. Mm -hmm. And you know, all the powder adds up and it doesn't look nice. But you can put as much as powder that you want, but put a lot of setting spray so everything is like melted together. So how do you feel about highlighters and like dewy looks? I do that. When you put that, you know, lots of setting spray on, then it will get dewy because, you know, your face basically gets wet. Yeah. And a shower in setting spray is I like, I get really, really wet. You know, if you have oily skin, you'll get dewy in a matter of 30 minutes anyway, so. So, do you use, like, more of a matte foundation? I like do. More matte product? Yeah, I always go for matte foundation because I know no matter what I do, it'll get dewy in an hour. And then in, like, four hours, it gets greasy. <laughs> but at least for four hours, I can enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm winging out this black eyeshadow a little bit. Something like a cat eye. And 
just gonna bring it in a little bit and blend it into that neon color. I feel like if you're not into makeup even, you can still rock this eyeshadow. And it's very easy. I'm trying to not, you know, make it very complicated. I've only used two brushes. Or no, three. Sorry. This one doesn't count. <laughs> this one. <laughs> the trend I've been seeing a lot that I'm really into is like a more natural face. Yeah. And then just like a colored eyeliner. Mm-hmm. Just give it like Those a Those are pop. very trendy too. Yeah. Really into that trend right now. I'm just gonna go over this black kind of liner that we have here and blend it into the pink eyeshadow. Okay. Now, because we don't have any like real eyeliner. Um, on the lid, I'm just gonna use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner uh, in color black and go inside the waterline. It's gonna be a little tickly, yeah. but <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. So always when you're doing this, ask your model to look down, not close the eyes, and then just go underneath the lashes. And then give them a break. <laughs> and then go over it again. This liner, if you don't have it, just run and get one. If you like to, you know, put this line inside your waterline and all the other liners, you know, start to um, go in the tear ducts or they run, this one doesn't do that. Okay, I let this one dry inside the eyes, and then I'm going to use another one of these eyeliners in a lighter color. This one is the same brand, Marc, Marc Jacobs, in color, what is the color? It doesn't say anything, but it's very light. Where's the color? Anyway, it's a very light color, and I'm going to put that inside your waterline. But before that... I'm just going to put a little bit of this, um, this color, just kind of like an orangey color underneath your eyes in the outer corner. You don't have to do this step if you don't want. If you want to, you know, uh, want your eye look to be more wearable, but I like it. Adds a little bit bit more pop of color and makes your eyes a little bit bigger too. So what are some tricks you have to like have more variety with your eyeshadow looks? Because that's currently like one of my struggles right now is having like different looks. I'll just try everything. Like when I have free time, I just sit down in front of a mirror and I just try the craziest things that come to my mind. And sometimes they, it doesn't look good. Sometimes I look like shit, but you know, sometimes I find techniques that look good on me that otherwise if I'm going somewhere, I've n I will never take the risk to try them, you know. But my recommendation is that just try it when you have free time and you don't want to go anywhere because then we get more brave, you know, with our makeup, and we will try anything. And Instagram, you can get inspiration from like all these Instagram pages, my page maybe. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that brown uh, color here in this Milani palette. 
to the outer corner. Slide, look up. And kind of connect it to this black one that I, we have going on here. When I first was um, talking to BeautyCon uh, team about this makeup tutorial, we wanted to do all the tutorial in Farsi for my Persian fans out there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but then I was like, Dory doesn't speak Farsi, so <laughs> it's going to be a little weird. Like, I'm going to be talking all Farsi <laughs> to people, and then, like, you're going to be sitting here watching. But I'm just going to go ahead and speak some Farsi to my batch of beauties. مرسی که اومدین همگیتون خیلی خیلی خوشحالم که اومدین ببخشید من همینجوری که دارم کارم انجام میدم با اتون باید صحبت کنم نمیتونم نگاهتون کنم ولی واقعا مرسی از همه تون که اومدین چرا نمیشینین؟ این همه جای خالیه. بیلیز میخواد. <laughs> so what did you just say? I said, why are you not sitting down? <laughs> oh. Do you have to have a special ticket to sit down? I can ask them if you want. <laughs> And it was thanking them that they came for the show. You know, I call my um, followers Betcha Beauties, which means like my baby, my kids, like my beauty kids. I don't know what is the translation. So every time a brand reposts me, they go and comment and they say the Persian phrase. And like every time brands ask me like, what is that? Like 2,000 people are just commenting like, oh my God, we're, they're Betcha Beauties. And they're like, what is that? And I have to like explain to everybody. Okay, let me just smudge this a little bit. Me and Greet ham has are vali nemi dunam saat chande. Chon man bad az in ke in makeup ot hamu konam, baad daram. Pisha shama. Na are vali has, vali ye kam dir tare. Shad masalan ye zare ye ye saat ye saat o nimedi ke bad az in makeup oshe. توی استوری میگم والا نمیدونم باید ببینم کجا رو در نظر گرفتن ولی اعلام میکنم که همتون رو از نزدیک ببینم نرینا درین همتون رو بلاک میکنم دونه دونه آیدیاتون الان سارا میاد میگیره اوکی ایوریتینگ از کامینگ تگیدر اوکی لیت می سی Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of this bronzer in the crease. So kind of like wrap around the eyeshadow. So you guys, I would love to see you if you have recreated this look. Tag me on Instagram, send me your pictures in my DMs. I would love to see if you ever recreate this look like how you did. And feel free to try this look with any other neon eyeshadow. Like you can do it with this yellow one, you can do with um, shiny colors, green, blue, purple, like anything will work. But know your eye shape. I'm really into the yellow right now. <laughs> Trying to master <laughs> yeah. yellow eye. 
Yeah, I saw you posted um, your nails yesterday, yeah. and I was like, maybe she thought I'm going to do a yellow eyeshadow <laughs> on her. <laughs> I was giving you a hint. Yeah. <laughs> your favorite um, neon color right now to do on your eyes? This color that I'm putting on for you. I feel like yellow is a little hard to pull off, mm -hmm. you know, because it's a very light color. So the contrast between your lip color and the eyeliner, maybe it's going to be too much. Then you have to work a little bit more on the crease. But this one, you can just put the neon eyeshadow, like this color, and go out. You don't even have to do all the rest that I'm doing. I've been having a hard time finding a good eyeshadow palette with a yellow that has like a great pigment in it. Yellows are hard to make. Yeah, the yellows and like very dark purples, like I know we don't have here, but um, I don't know why, but they're very hard to make, even in lipsticks. But I know that ColourPop has a um, new uh, palette that is all yellow. I forget the name, but that one is really good. It's very affordable. It's like only $12 for like nine shades. Cool. Yeah. So I'm just going to contour the inner part of her uh, eye between the eyebrows and the nose a little bit. So the eye makeup doesn't feel like separated from the other parts of the face. What is that? My phone knows if you <laughs> And feel free to bring it down. You can contour the nose with this too. Which it doesn't even need, but it doesn't hurt. A little extra. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and put this lighter color inside the waterline. Make it look up. This will make your eyes like dull, very cute, very awake. Sometimes if your eyeliner is not working, just warm it up a little bit on the back of your hand. It's going to get melted and then put it inside. Sometimes new eyeliners do that. And I take it all the way to the inner corner. Beautiful. You know what I did first time? that I was using this kind of eyeliners, I didn't know they roll up. So I started, <laughs> I was like, why is it not doing that? And what kind of eyeliner did you say this was? This, this is a Marc Jacob one. It doesn't have a name. Like I can't find the shade name. I'll look it up and I'll post it on my stories. It feels very smooth going Yeah. On. Oh, they're uh, waving to my camera. Okay, just gonna do a little bit in this inner corner right here. Is this your first time in BeautyCon this year? It is. It is? First. Yeah, it's my yes. first time as well. I'm excited to walk around. I know, me too. I came here yesterday because it was my first time. I didn't know what I should expect. And then I wish I didn't because when I saw the main stage and it was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> did you check out any of the booths yesterday? I did. Okay, but so the lines were too long, so I just walked past everything, but today I'm just going to go walk a little bit more. So we're just going to blend, blend, blend. And just 
touch up the uh, neon one in the center, just put a little more. Did you see any favorite booths that you got to go back to today? Yes. Um, I saw Huda Beauty. They have a beautiful uh, like wall that's like all the eyeshadows are like stuck to the wall. I'm obsessed so with her eyeshadow. Pretty. Palette. The rose gold one is like my the favorite. The rose gold one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love these little ones. They have like all the colors, the neon or the um, they have the smoky and the brown. They're all very good. I don't know if I should put some sparkle on your lid or no. Huh. I'm thinking maybe just in the inner corner. Okay, I'm just going to go. Since you like yellow and we want to kind of match your nails, we don't want to disappoint you. I'm going to go in this very neon, very bright yellow green color and put it in the inner corner. And that's good because we already have that liner on. And it's a little sticky, so this eyeshadow will stick right on it. Oh, beautiful. Merci, Aziza. Merci. من اولش که بهم گفتن فقط سی دقیقه رو استج وقت داری مردم یعنی گفتم من که انقدر در حالت عادی مس مس و همه هم جا دیر میرسم و به هیچ کارم سر موقع نمیرسم چه جوری میخوام تو نیم ساعت یه دونه چشم کامل رو تموم کنم الان یه رو بدارم هی به ساعت نگاه کنم میگم چرا تموم نمیشه کارمو کردم تو همون یه رو به اول بیشترش همینجوری الکی بازیه عزیزم جدی فهمیدین شما ها عزیز دلمی دیدی میگن آدم استرس که میگیره دستش تند میشه هم به همه کارش تندتر میرسه من در حالت عادی اینجوری نیستم ولی حالا الان نمیدونم چه اتفاقی افتاده خب یه کوچولو هم یه کوچولو هم از این آیلاینر فقط روی پلکش بالا خیلی خیلی نازک I'm just putting this eyeliner like very very close to the lash line just to give her eyes a little more definition, nothing crazy. And I'm just going to blend it with the same little brush. I also love using like a darker eyeshadow as a liner too. I use some darker one for the wing, the wing, but like for the actual like, you know, this work, your lash line, this is very smooth. But if you want to smudge this eyeliner, you kind of have to hurry up because it sets really quickly and then you can't do anything with it. Beautiful. excited to walk around mm -hmm. and find some new makeup products. Yes. And I heard that some new actual products are dropping in the beauty con. Yeah. That's exciting. Like um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, have a new foundation that I'm dying to try and some other brands. Okay. I'm just going to smudge a little bit this wing, blend it out, make everything even. Blend, blend, blend. And we're all done. Yay! Beautiful.
Okay, she hasn't seen her face yet, guys. Like, yeah, let's like hope it. she doesn't freak out. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, this is so cute. Do you guys like it? It's cute. I'm going to attempt to recreate this at home. Yeah, I think the footage is everywhere. I'm going to send you it to you and be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for watching us. Thank I'm going to post on my IG stories where I'm going to be. Uh, where I'm going to be for the meet and greet, but it's going to probably be in an hour and a half, two hours, maybe less. I'll try. Um, and I'll see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>